Hello, Jacob Luzon here. So my external analysis critique is on the company I'm researching this semester, eBay Incorporated. So I had to give them a bottom line grade based on the analysis that these people distributed or created. So the Pestle analysis and GDC, I gave it a B and the Porter's Five Forces model, I gave that a B. And I will go in depth on why I chose those grades. So the Pestle and GDC analysis, they completed um, the analysis for each letter in Pestle, but they did not complete any for GDC. So in the analysis, the Pestle was um, outlined by like each heading, um, but nothing in regards to GDC. There were many implications relating to it, but nothing outlined with a heading. To be specific, um, the implications, those were relating to global and the complements where you could, you could see, for example, if you are educated that those are in there, but they are not specifically stated. So, and the, for, the Porter's Five Forces model is referenced within two or more categories, those specifically being the legal and the technological. And within the PESTLE analysis, there was a SWOT analysis link. This did include a summary and recommendations, and the, it included the type of industry which is e-commerce, there were some opportunities and the main force was competition. There was not the attractiveness of the industry. So for the Porter's five forces analysis, all five forces were analyzed and there were gradings of strong and moderate. The analysis showed that the two strongest forces were competitive rivalry and the bargaining power of customers. Each force was explained based on its, their strengths and weaknesses, which is why there were two strong forces, the ones being above and the other three were all moderate. There's not a visual analysis that helps illustrate anything and there are two recommendations specifically targeting the strong bargaining power of customers and the moderate bargaining power of suppliers. These recommendations were stated in the summary and recommendations. And this was odd. Um, the summary and recommendations were stated in the beginning of the analysis when normally they would be stated at the end. And just like in the PESTEL analysis, there is a SWOT analysis link, the same exact link. And this included the type of industry as well, e-commerce and the forces with the highest impact were competitive rivalry and bargaining power of customers. And then there were some opportunities and just like in the pestle, they neglected the attractiveness of the industry. So how to improve the analysis. The pestle and GDC could have specifically divided the GDC components instead of referencing them subtly. So like I said, they subtly referenced the global and the complements a uh, portion of the GDC and they did not say anything about the demographics. And so they explained that we were in the e-commerce industry, but they could have went deeper into that and explained that um, 
that eBay is an oligopoly and that they rely on tacit collusion and this some this somehow could have helped their their main force the competitive rivalry and ways to improve communication there were no visuals on either analysis so visuals can be implemented to help especially if uh, it is not an educated reader and simpler language could have been used so like i said for this analysis, it was specifically written for somebody who is educated. They were using words like macroeconomic and microeconomic. And I guarantee if I never went to college, I would not understand those words. And that is my grading. And thank you for listening.